This is a collection of videos from the beginning of his professional career. And what we are going to see here is that some of the mechanical aspects that we evaluated in the previous videos are actually not new, but probably something that he brings from early on in his career. And what this means is that it never was evaluated nor intended to change. And this is a, a, a clear indication that in many of these professional processes, many of the injuries that happen or the limitations in performance that we will see over the years of the professional career can be prevented or even eliminated. So if we see here when he's going to kick, you can start to see the arch of the lower back. Very good flexibility of the hip flexors. However, he needs to arch his back in order to increase the range of motion. And this uh, produces a huge pressure in the lower back and when he's kicking you can see many times this happen in players the hip remains behind and the toe the upper body goes forward this limits the range of motion and the power that the leg will have let's see when he's running now you will see that the landing is in the outside of the foot here as well same than before, the foot is facing out. And the knee is oriented in a different direction than the direction of the running. Look at the position of the hands and the arms. Look at the arch of the back. This is the same that we saw in uh, the initial videos that I, I presented. And we, we can estimate that this is about 8 to 10 years later. Foot out. Again, look at the left foot. It's facing out. You can see the landing with the outside of the foot and the knee falling outside of the foot. And then look at the rotation of the foot. Yes, he's going to kick in that direction, but this is a huge pressure, in the, a huge torque at the level of the knee when the hip is facing in one direction and the knee is facing in a different one. One more time in another video. You can see how it is more clear the knee is falling outside of the supporting area. Very early on he had already this curvature in the leg that shows compressive forces inside and tensile forces outside of the knee. Look at this moment of contact. Very much pressure in the outside and the center of gravity is falling way outside of the supporting area. This is a very big impact at the level of the knee, ankle, and even the hip. Again, foot out, look at the curvature, knee facing out, landing with the outside of the foot. And then look at the landing, he is under pressure because the defender is pushing him and because the way that he usually lands, the risk at the level of the knee is very big. He is he's having less opportunity to uh, absorb the pushing and to stabilize the body 
and the knee is tolerating here his own body weight plus the body weight of the other player. We see the running, we get the curvature of the lower back, and this is also related to mechanical aspects, and uh, we saw that when, when he was running the treadmill in the previous video. Same thing, big curvature, yes, he is facing up, and maybe this is exacerbating that, but this is clearly a behavior that he maintains, and maybe because the structure of the back is already organized in that way. Let's see one more time the running. position of the body, landing with the outside, the hip remains always behind the shoulders and the landing position, even though he's landing flat, they, there are stopping forces just because the position of the upper body, and landing with the heel, And then he's always very efficient, finding spaces and uh, leaving behind the defenders. But the most important here to see, and um, the intention of these clips, is to show that a technical behavior usually comes from very early on, is repeated many many thousand times over the career and this creates stability of the structure of movement and at the same time overload of different areas of the uh, musculoskeletal system that usually is correlated to the injuries or the history of injuries or the most frequent injuries that appear uh, in, the, in the history of the athlete. And we are talking about those injuries that are not related to a, an, a, an event of a impact with other player or an unusual event. We are talking about the overuse injuries that most of the time happen while performing repetitive movements.